What's up, everybody? This video is about the Altel Evo 2 640T Enterprise Bundle, and it's the V3. So what I wanna show you, I did the unboxing in a previous video. This is the drone in comparison to Mavic 2 Pro, size-wise. And this is the sensor, dual sensor on the 640T. Several attachments and payloads that fit here. Loudspeaker, floodlight for search and rescue, fire operations, public safety, and this is the controller. It's beautiful. So just to show you a comparison of size. Now what I want to do is show you some different footage from the sensor. I took some images with the infrared with me walking around in the woods and also by my house to show you how that looks. And there's also different color palettes. I believe there's at least 10 different color palettes you can choose from. You could have the infrared picture in the center with the color camera around it, all color camera or all infrared. So that's pretty cool as well. All right, let's check it out.
true, I think. This is probably considered one of the entry level thermal drones. Again, it ranges around the whole package, six to $7,000. You have drones by DJI, the M300 with a sensor that could cost you 15 to $20,000. So it just depends on the type of work that you're gonna be doing. If you want to detect gas leaks, I hear there's a mid-wave sensor that costs over $100,000 that can detect gas leaks. But then the work that you're gonna acquire or the projects, you might get paid 5,000 a day for something like that. With a drone like this hotel, you can do a lot. If you're interested to learn more, I would suggest going online and looking up Teledyne FLIR. I'll put a link in the description. And there's a course, I believe it's like three or four day course. It's excellent. And they teach you all about infrared, electromagnetic spectrum, things you can do with uh, these type of sensors, all the way from solar panel inspections, property inspections, electrical line inspections for energy companies. They talk about all of that in the three to four days. And it's very informative, but interesting as well. And so again, the electromagnetic spectrum, you have gamma, X-ray, ultraviolet, then you have visible light, infrared, which is what we saw today, and radio waves. So in summary, this sensor detects thermal energy, converts it to an electrical signal, and then it processes that and produces an image so that we can see thermal energy with our eyes. Now, the second piece of that here is quantitative and qualitative analysis. If you're only trying to do qualitative, where you just wanna see if there's any abnormal patterns with what you're analyzing, then you don't need a radiometric drone. If you want to find out what the temperature is or an estimate of the temperature of what you're taking an image of, then you want a radiometric drone. So when you go out and search, there's uh, the Cirrus by FLIR, Altel 640T is radiometric, um, the DJI 300 has a few sensors. The Altel 640T is not a FLIR sensor. The Altel 640R is made by FLIR. Biggest difference, you have to convert the file if you want to use FLIR Thermal Studio. I just wanted to clarify that. Oh, FLIR One Pro or Pro One, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway. It goes in your cell phone, infrared sensor, that shows us infrared radiation or thermal radiation. This is nice to have if you do property inspections for your own home. If you're looking to do some renovations, it might show you areas where there's uh, bad insulation, where the windows or the doors are not um, tightly sealed and there's air gaps and leaks. And then even if you're uh, purchasing a house, maybe this is something good that you want to take with you. Don't open up an electrical panel unless you have this with you. You can put it in front and then see what the temperature is. It's a pretty so, cool tool and it's only about four or $500 on the FLIR website. You could also buy it on Amazon as well. I just wanted to show it to you. It's just like the sensor that we use on a drone, except it's a handheld and it just attaches to your cell phone. So it's pretty easy. That's all for now. In the meantime, keep it weird.